Green, uh, my name is Sean. Well, I don't know about the role model, but uh, it's been a couple of years and I think it's a big achievement for me to, you know, finish on 300 games. Uh, Finished 300 games in my career. I think it's it's a huge honor. Uh, you know, when I started playing for India, I was just happy just playing one game for India. That would have been a big achievement for me. But it's come a long way. It's been ups and downs, and I'm uh, proud of myself that I've come through and uh, still managed to you know get to 300. At one stage, I was thinking that whether I'm going to play or no again. Uh, but uh, yeah, come a long way. वे आपके लिए क्या मायने हैं और क्या एक्सपेक्ट करेंगे खुद को देना इस बड़े जैसे कहा कि एक माइलस्टोन है सबके लिए और टीम भी पूरी खुश है विराट भी बात कर रहे थे युवराज के लिए क्या मायने हैं इस 300 वनडे के आप क्या एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हैं देखिए इट्स इट्स अ बिग अचीवमेंट फॉर मी बट मैं कुछ स्पेशल नहीं करने जाऊंगा आई थिंक टीम इज मच मोर इंपॉर्टेंट देन माय 300 गेम वी नीड टू फोकस ऑन द सेम फाइनल और क्या हमारे प्लान्स रहेंगे बिकॉज़ I think Bangladesh have been playing really well in the tournament and uh, we want to contribute towards our plans or how we can match rather than focusing on my 300 game. When you, when you look back, you started with Sachin Saurav Rahul, all the legends were there and now uh, you are playing with Virat and uh, also the new guys like Hardik. So, what according to you has been the transformation in Indian cricket that you have seen over these 17 years? Well, I think uh, there has been a big trans transformation, uh, learning from our seniors. What we've uh, learned, we try and give it back to the younger guys. And I think in terms of the game has evolved, uh, you know, the fitness levels have evolved. The game has become much more on a faster pace. And I think the guys who are coming in the team are much more fitter. They have much more knowledge about eating. They much have much more knowledge about training. And uh, yeah, they're learning quickly because uh, they get exposed to IPL as well, which is a big tournament playing with international cricketers. So game has evolved uh, big time. You're learning quicker. One, one, one at a time. What's the biggest quality that you admire yourself lasting all this 17 years? I don't know. Uh, I think biggest quality in me would be uh, never to give up and uh, keep pushing uh, no matter what obstac obstacles come in your life. And I think that's what I can give to the younger guys is, uh, you know, never to back down always. Keep on working the same way, whether you having good time or a bad time, and be persistent and be consistent. Focus on uh, you know on the process process of the game. You भी खेलना अपना आसान बिल्कुल नहीं है इंडिया के लिए, लेकिन कम्बैक करना बहुत मुश्किल हो जाता है। क्या कहोगे खेलना और ये करना दोनों? जी, I think I think इंडिया के लिए खेलना इतना मुश्किल नहीं है, but sustain करना is tough. So I think as I said. Uh, you need to have determination uh, never to give up and uh, believe in yourself. I think belief is very important because uh, when things are not going well for you, other people uh, you know, have uh, their opinions. So I think at that time it's very important to believe in yourself that you've done it in the past and there's, it's a matter of time when you can come and do it again. Uh, Definitely 2011 World Cup quarter-final against Australia. Um, my debut against against Australia, uh, and uh, I don't know. I think that's not part of the one day. Uh, I think these two would be uh, most. Netwest final would be another very special game. Where would you, where would you keep? Uh, where would you rank? Pakistan and Bangladesh in terms of arch rivalry in the recent times? Well, I think end of the day you you playing an international game, whether you're playing Bangladesh and whether you're playing uh, Pakistan is the same intensity. So I wouldn't say there's any arch rivals. When, you, when you're playing an opponent, you go and prepare the same way you would prepare for any game. You said that your short term, I'm sure you want to have 301 matches, not just this 308. But what is the long term goal for you? I don't know actually. I've just been very blessed to come and play for India again. 
and I have a lot of blessings of people. And let's see it till well I can, as long as I'm performing, I'm doing well, I would uh, like to play. And uh, hopefully a few more years. Mr. Basu, players have got when people look at you, they no longer look at you as just a successful cricketer or a star cricketer. They look at you as a survivor who has battled life and has come back. Uh, are you aware of it? What are the responsibilities? Well, definitely I would portray as a fighter. Uh, and uh, a lot of people can actually get inspired and not to give up in their lives. You know. Cancer is something which I always talk about and a lot of people uh, have the stigma of cancer. So I think try and motivate a lot of people to come out of it and come back to where they belong. You said that uh, what has changed since the last time you played for India in terms of fitness levels and uh, the pace of the game. Coming back this time, uh, did you have to do some different thinking, different motivation perhaps to uh, get, a, get a call back? Uh, what was your thinking? Uh, well, I've been, yourself I've been playing uh, domestic cricket for the last three years. In last three years, I didn't play one-day cricket, but ever, I didn't miss any of my domestic games except for my marriage, and that was the reason where I could spend a lot of time on the ground. And you know, I was batting well, I was fielding for two two days, and uh, it's important as you get older, you need to push harder on the field. So I think that's the reason why I was able to come back and play again. Can we ask three now? How your illness changed your perspective about success in sports? Well. You know, to to attain success depends on long long term and short term goals. You know, obviously long term is harder, but as I said, over the years, uh, the more experience you get, get, the harder you gotta work. As older you get, the harder you gotta work. That's what I've learned from my seniors. So I think that's the reason why I'm able to sustain for so many years. You have your foundation, ka jo you we can. Yeah, that is motivation to, you know, you and we together can fight any obstacle. I mean, that was the reason of the charity. And I think that's the reason why I'm here, that we've uh, fought it together and uh, with the wishes of the people. Thank you, last one. Anand. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. Uh, uh, back, you had two pieces of advice. One thing that all young cricketers should do and one thing that they should not do. What they should do is... Uh, I think stick to the process of training hard and harder and what they should not do is uh, they should stay away from you guys. <laughs> <laughs>